John Zogby standing by right now. John, good morning. Good morning, Bill. Well, I've been uh, very much anticipating having you on here this morning because this uh, poll or survey, I know we, we kind of got into that because of uh, Lou Posha and Jim Zeka, but mm-hmm. uh, at the end of the day, this takes the temperature of the public. And uh, give your take on this and, and also the, the numbers and the results that you've, uh, that you've seen come in on this. Okay, so Bill, we have a little over 400 who've participated, so we're still in the middle of this poll, and folks are still welcome to, they're encouraged, in fact, to, to be heard. And, uh, but at this point in time, you know, we have some preliminary results. I'm not going to release numbers, I'm just going to give you an impression. Okay. Right. But I, I want to address the polling first. Okay. Um, I mean, essentially... I've been known uh, in, in my decades of polling as an innovator and, you know, have moved beyond the traditional landline polling to online polling to uh, texting people on mobile and inviting them to a website to do a poll. This is the next stage. This is a broad invitation to a broad swath of people, and I am pleased that the demographics that are coming in are representative of Oneida County and Herkimer County, city of Utica, where some questions are pertinent. Mm-hmm. And so I'm going to stand by these, uh, these results. And here's what I'm going to, to tell folks. Uh, very controversial issue, the downtown hospital is very, very competitive. It's very, very close. Wow. On the other hand, I'm not going to reveal which way this is going, but only to suggest that the downtown casino is not close at Uh, all. Interesting. Uh, And um, uh, folks around here do not want Andrew Cuomo to seek the presidency in 2020. Can can I go back to the uh, to the to the casino? Yeah, you're saying not. First of all, on uh, so for clarification, the the results are not done yet. We're not complete. We still have another two or three weeks to go here. We do two or three weeks. Yeah. But um, where we stand right now, you feel this is a great cross section of the community. It is. And it's tight. Would you? It's very tight. Yeah. On the hospital. Uh, uh, On the casino. Would you say, when you say it is not tight, would you say, are you willing to say people are against it or for that? What do you think? I don't want to do that. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah, let people vote. Uh, what, I, what I want to suggest is that they're being heard so far and, um, uh, and, and right now tilting heavily uh, on one side. Okay. All right. Uh, the next issue. Um, <clears throat> state Constitutional Convention. Uh, it looks like at least this point in time that all the ads that are flooding and all the lawn signs you see uh, that, that say no, people do oppose uh, the referendum, at least at this point in time and with this number of votes. And <clears throat> I should point out that, uh, that in addition to male and female and, and region, uh, the political party uh, identification of those who've responded to the poll really match uh, where we are in each of the uh, the two counties. Oh, that's very interesting. Yeah. So it kind of fits the. Uh, I, I, it's, are we kind of balanced in Oneida County? Is it uh, the Republicans much. have a, a, a a bit more of a majority in Oneida County? Herkimer County much more of a majority. Is that true? Much more of a majority. Yeah. <coughs> um, uh, Herkimer County is heavily Republican. Oneida County tilts. Republican. This is in terms of um, of, of voter registration. Yeah. But it's uh, uh, our sample has four percentage points more uh, uh, Republicans in Oneida County than Democrats, and that really is just about right. All right. Uh, how about that? Um, uh, what other issues are, are key that you can kind of give us a little hint on? We will say the the one of the questions in Oneida County is the family court uh, judge race. And we're we're going to you'll close that out on uh, at the end of Monday, but we won't reveal until Wednesday. What's going to be interesting about that is how do the results match up to the actual numbers on ele- after the day after election day? Right, exactly. And uh, you know what I think is fair to tell people is typical of any judicial race. Um, there's a significant number of undecideds. 
at this point in time. Okay, in fact, that's interesting. That will be the one number I, I'll feel free to release. You still have about one in four undecided, and Bill, that is typical. Wow. Now, would you say that judicial race is close? How would you uh, would you be competitive. willing? Competitive. Competitive. Okay. It, it is very competitive. All right. Interesting. All right. Next up, what uh, what other key uh, issues are out there? Uh, well, folks don't want Andrew Cuomo to run uh, mm-hmm. for president of the United States. In fact, they're pretty emphatic about that, and it'd be very difficult to see that overturned over the next couple of weeks. Um, unless, you know, unless he buses people in here, um, <laughs> uh, which which, you which could do. is often done on election day, right? Um, yeah. <clears throat> and. I think maybe the most interesting question of all, and I really am only going to tease, is whether or not people believe that nanotechnology is part of our future. Okay. Um, and uh, that is among the results that uh, community leaders are going to have to take a very close look at. Um, it's, uh, so uh, we will have, our plan is to have final results and to close out the poll when? What are your thoughts? Uh, it's in the middle of November. Okay. So we really still have a couple of weeks, two to uh-huh. three weeks to get in there, maybe two weeks to get in and still uh, get your vote in. And Absolutely. you can go to yep. our website at WIBX950.com and it's uh, right brand there. Brand new, shiny. Oh, the website is nice looking right now. Um, and John, I, I'm, I, based on your tease here, this is more of a tease than anything else today, I, uh-huh. must, I must tell you. But uh, based on this, it seems that um, I, I can't wait for these results to come out. Yeah, I can't either. I, I, I kind of like polls, you know. So uh, <laughs> I, I've heard that. <laughs> yeah, kind of heard that. So, uh, And, you know, also, if you could talk about, you know, we only hear the negatives. Um, mm-hmm. We only hear, oh, did, did, was one of the questions about term limits in Utica, did that? Yes. Well, yes, there well, was. And there's a, an emphatic result. Okay. Thus far. All right. Well, you don't have to tell me on that one. I kind of know where that probably is. So um, talk just about how and, and when when someone's against something, we uh-huh. hear it. Uh, people come out. They protest. They show up at meetings. They make phone calls, robocalls. Um, when someone's for something, it, it, there's a different result. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah. You know, intensity is very much a part of my business as is frequency. So, you know, it might be one thing hypothetically to say, hey, 58% support such and such a thing and 42 oppose. And, you you know, if you're a supporter, you say, um, wow, you know, we won this. On the other hand, among those 42% who oppose, you may have the highest intensity factor, uh, the loudest factor, the, the uh, more activist and organized side, so you need to pay attention then to to levels of intensity. Uh, in this poll, we've designed it so that it, uh, totally supportive, very supportive, mostly supportive, somewhat supportive, same sort of scale on opposition. So we can tell um, not only the the total support and total opposition, but those intensity levels as well. All right. Very, very interesting. John, we appreciate it as always. And again, people should get out there and A, they should get out there and vote on Tuesday. And I hope everybody does. Um, and B, they should get out and uh, and get on this poll and uh, take this survey. Results coming in about two and a half weeks. Okay, thanks. Bill. Uh, just a note on the tribal, yeah. if we could quickly. Yeah, sure. T- tell, tell us about that. Uh, what does it mean and, and, and how are you compiling that data? Yeah, we're compiling the data because uh, people are able to answer 27 very brief questions on a matrix and determine what their tribe is and who their fellow tribesmen are. Um, We've gotten a very good response on that. And your listeners, WIBX and, of course, the the other stations uh, at at Town Square, uh, seem to be distributed fairly well. Um, Your top two tribes, though, um, your largest tribe is the land of the free, which also happens to be the largest tribe of Americans. Uh, those, those are the don't tread on me, uh, libertarian type leaning, um, uh, uh, not in favor of, uh, of large government programs and, um, uh, and tending to like uh, outdoors and personal freedom. 
Uh, I have a, a listener asking one final question, sure. um, and maybe you can give us uh, results. Maybe you don't want to give numbers as of yet. But uh, the question, Tenny versus Brindisi. Competitive. Competitive. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, results coming in two weeks. Final results coming in two weeks. John, as always, thanks so much. Great. Thank you, Bill. John sure. Zogby.